A wise man wished to teach his four sons how to avoid making rash judgments. During the winter, he sent his oldest son on a journey to go and examine a particular fruit tree. In the spring, he sent his second oldest son on the same errand. Summer came along and the third son went too. When the youngest boy had returned from his autumn visit, the wise man called them together and asked them to each describe the tree that they had seen. The first son portrayed the tree as nothing more than a burnt wooden stump with no sign of life. The second son was very quick to disagree, describing, describing the tree as a blossoming green tree with much potential. The third son described it as a fully developed, productive, fruit-giving tree. The youngest son depicted the tree as one that was still producing fruits, but looked like it was beginning to fall apart. The father turned to his sons and told them that they were all right, but wrong at the same time. They were all right because each one had described the tree as he had seen it. But at the same time, they were wrong because each one had only seen the tree in one season. They should have withheld judgment on the tree until they were certain that they had seen it in all its seasons. Kia Odom Eitz Asada says the Torah, man is like a tree. As parents, we need to realize that our kids too have their seasons. Part of the mechanism of the human being is that we have high seasons and we have low seasons. There are times when our kids will be productive and at a fully developed stage. And there are times when they will feel like a burnt out wooden stump with no sign of life. There are times when they are beginning to bloom and there are times when they are beginning to take a fall. Sometimes when we see a, ch a change in a child's behavior, attitude or even work ethic at school, we are inclined to jump into combat mode and completely overreact. What's important for us to know is that just as one would be silly to judge a tree based on what it looks like in the winter or autumn, so too we shouldn't make knee-jerk decisions about the direction of our kids' education until we are absolutely certain that we have seen things in context, that we have seen them in all their seasons. This week we celebrated Tubi Shvat, the 15th of Shvat, known as the Rosh Hashanah, the new year for trees. We need to continue to thank God for the trees and the fruit that they give us, and to also thank God for the powerful lessons that the trees teach us. Good Shabbos.